Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 9 of season 1 of Gravity Falls. So, I'm, I'm so loving this uh, so far. It's been really fantastic and I'm expecting this next episode to also be that way. Last time around was arguably, for me, the best episode of the season yet. It was uh, an episode where there was a mystery that we had to uncover. Uh, there was this like pioneer day uh, where they celebrated the town's founder, who was apparently uh, the Pacific and Northwest uh, girl's uh, ancestor. And they looked into it because they thought that he wasn't the founder. Um, Dipper and Mabel, that is. Mabel joined because she was being made fun of by Pacifica because she's so silly, which is her best characteristic, I think. Um, and uh, she wanted to prove that she could be serious as well. That led to all sorts of hijinks, uh, a la National Treasure kind of style. And uh, we got there in the end. We uncovered the true founder. Apparently it was this uh, one of the one of America's presidents, the number eight and a half. What was his name even? Ah, uh, I I've lost it. Uh, but he was the silliest president ever. He made like a bunch of babies into Supreme Court justices and <laughs> rode on horses backwards and stuff. He encased himself in peanut brittle to hibernate and live forever <laughs> and apparently it worked because we ha we found him towards to towards the end of the episode and <laughs> well not the end middle maybe yeah probably around the middle yeah anyways he was crazy and it was funny he gave us a key and he made mabel a congressman it was a crazy ride <laughs> we also found out that the actual uh, permanent president forevermore of america is santa claus and it's not a democracy, it's a jollyocracy. <laughs> it's so random. I freaking love it, man. So I'm really excited to see what this next episode is going to bring. <laughs> I don't think it will be as good as the previous one, but maybe it will be. Like, who the heck knows? It's going to be really fun to find out. But before we do that, though, I just want to mention the Patreon. On the Patreon, I am like 15 to 20 episodes ahead, so I should have started on season two by now. Uh, the episodes are also uncut, so if that interests you, feel free to check it out. Links in the description down below. There's also other shows like Avatar The Last Airbender, Avatar uh, The Legend of Korra, or just The Legend of Korra, uh, and Supernatural, and The Witcher, and Wheel of Time, and movies and stuff. So if that interests you, yeah, feel free to check it out. But with that said, let's get into this next episode, uh, episode nine of season one of Gravity Falls. There she is, Mabel, the cheapest fare money can rent. I and you're proud of that, of course, as you spared every expense. I got a job for you two. I printed up a bunch of fake safety inspection certificates. Go slap one on anything that looks like a law. Oh, man. <laughs> no, it's not legal. <laughs> Rigged from here to Timbuktu. There's nothing on Earth. You're such a scam artist, Stan. Futuristic laser arm cannon. Ah, hey, you haven't seen my red screwdriver, have you? Maybe some magical creature or paranormal thing. I'm took it. Oi. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'm sure both of those things are gonna happen. So, like, yeah, here we go. Screwdriver and futuristic laser arm thingy. I'm sure that those things are gonna happen. Like I'm saying, like Zeus seems. He seems like he's like keyed into some strange aspect of reality where he perceives things that no one else does. It's 12 o'clock. The dunk tank is now open. Step right up and stop with the feedback. Who wants a piece of me? <laughs> Come back anytime, folks. <laughs> you need to charge money somehow as well, right? But Dipper, they're so delicious. <laughs> Question mark. I'll be right back. I'll be right here. <laughs> I love you. Look at you. <laughs> You're so desperate, man. You're like a little brother to her, dude. It totally worked. All your advice about just going for it, it's finally paying off. You're ascribing too much meaning to this. You're like, it doesn't mean what you think it means, dude. Got some new super tight jeans. Thought she might want to check them out. Yeah, you know, I think I saw her in the bottomless pit. You should really go jump in there. <laughs> yeah, go look for her there. <laughs> Don't worry, 
brother. Whatever happens, I'll be right here, supporting you every step of the- Oh my gosh, a pig! <laughs> We're not pig. <gasps> yeah, it's quite adorable. <laughs> oh look, Mabel here found her real twin. <laughs> oh, get over yourself, Pacifica. Ah, oh, 15 poundy. So, how much you guess anyways? 15 pounds. 15 pounds? Are you some kind of witch? Well, here's your pig. <laughs> <laughs> you made that way too easy, dude. Everything is different now. <laughs> yes, you have a pet now. I don't know if it's a duck or a panda, but I want one. I think it's a platypus. And a two and a... Uh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Wendy, are you okay? Does it look swollen? Oh, that was kind of clumsy. Where is she? Where is she? Hey, watch where you're going, man. That dude is a mystery. Yeah, I was just here in the right place at the right time. Yeah, <laughs> Unlike yeah. you. We've been spending a lot of time together. So it's time travel, right? Because that guy seemed really futuristic. And right place at the right time. And so on. Everything is different now. What are you looking at? <laughs> Not everything is different now. <sighs> Love and corn dogs, huh? Mabel, do you ever wish you could go back and undo just one mistake? Yes. I do. <laughs> we get it. We know what's gonna happen, and it's not gonna go well, I don't think. Don't hand me. I've seen you before. What's your deal? Are you following us around? And why are you bald? <laughs> This is a baby wipe. <laughs> uh, all right, you've cornered me. You're kind of incompetent, aren't you? Do you have like a time machine or something? That's kind of how it works. <laughs> and there's Wendy. <laughs> Come on, can I use your time machine just once? Out of the question. It's not going to be just once you're going to get in a mess. This making any sense to you? I think he's just crazy. Uh I think he's crazy too, yeah. I'm Anomaly Removal Crew, year 2072. Snevity? is to stop a series of time anomalies <laughs> that are supposed to happen. When is that, actually? I don't know if it's some kind of paradox, or if I'm just really tired. There's gonna be anomalies as soon as uh, Dipper gets hold of that time machine. That's why you're here. What the heck? I'm worth it! But I got my eye on you! <laughs> Did you lift the time machine? Are you good at stealing? Sorry, dude, but you're gonna have to take your belt off for the ride. One of your tools might fly off and accidentally fix something. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like a hawk! Yeah. <laughs> you're doing great. Let's go get two dodos and force them to make out. No! We gotta be smart about this. Are dodos extinct? All I'm gonna do is go back and fix my one mistake. If I don't miss that baseball throw, I won't hit Wendy in the eye, and Robbie won't comfort her, and they won't start going out. I'm coming too. Butterfly effect, man. It's just... It's, I don't know. And it's time to rewind. Why are you on fire? It's 12 o'clock! The dunk tank is now open! Ah! Here we go again. If and you can guess 15 the... pounds! And yes, I am a witch! Well, time yeah. to round up a mob. <laughs> <laughs> it's already going badly. <laughs> one ball, please. You only get one chance. That's what you think. <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. So anyway, we've been hanging out a lot, and I've been wondering if... <laughs> it went super fast this time. The exact same thing happened twice. It was spooky. Ooh, maybe it's a time curse. What? Oh, man. This is going to go badly. Is it possible that the forces of time naturally conspire to undo any new outcomes? No, no, I just need to... I guess. It. I mean, since you said that, I'm assuming that's what's actually happening. Ow! My eye! Hey, you all right? <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. 
Yeah, it's not gonna help, dude. No matter what you do. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. It's like there's one variable missing. What's a variable? You can't leave. I need you for my plan. But what about Waddles? It'll just take a few minutes. Let's go. Oh! I think you might have overcomplicated this. Uh, Look what Dipper got for me. Whatever. Can't even tell what species it is. <laughs> Stupid. It actually worked out. But what kind of repercussions will this have, I wonder? Anytime, Frosif. Now to win my pig. <gasps> it's gone. No. No one else's. Old 15 poundy. No. We can't have this. What's wrong? Ah! Mabel, what? <laughs> she took Waddle's dipper. Oh, Mabel, I'm sorry. <sighs> it's okay. Yeah, we just gotta fix this. Uh, oh, uh, give it back. So maybe just. Maybe if just Mabel went back, you know? Do you hear that? How long ago is this? Okay, it's not that long ago. Couple of hundred years, right? Probably. No, it's not that long ago at all. It's like the founding. Dysentery! Who wants dysentery? No, thank you. I'll skip. I'll skip that. Silver mother? These are called braces. Mabel, we can't start messing with the past. Oh, so the You already have. Shoes that blink! <laughs> She's a witch. Guess who gets to vote in the future? Ladies! Up top! <laughs> High five. <laughs> I'm gonna set the timeline right. Hey! No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're doing a great job, Dipper. Run, run! Take cover! That's coming! And there's the baby we saw mentioned. The time eating baby. It was mentioned in the previous episode. Behold me! <sighs> it's the first episode and you're dropping stuff all over the place. Oh, young Stan. What did you do now? <laughs> We've transported to the end of time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> a porta potty. This is the best present ever. Yes. Dip it. No. No. Gosh darn it. He was my soulmate. You said that about a ball of yarn once. You're not guilt tripping me, Mabel. Not this time. I'm sure it's gonna work. <laughs> She's too adorable to leave disappointed like this. Get in a week. <laughs> She's still gonna be there. Waddles. Waddles. <laughs> she completely broke. You know, this is the perfect time for me to uh, ask you something. Uh, it is done. Yes, it is done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you still are missing your shoe. That's what you deserve, Pacifica. You too! <laughs> yes, we do. Have any idea how many rules you just broke? I'm asking. I, I wasn't there with you. It was probably a lot, right? Yeah, it was a lot. And calculators littered through eight centuries. You are under arrest for violations of the Time Traveler's Code of Conduct. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're still here. I guess he forgot to go back. Ha! You suckers! Your pockets are empty and I'm still sitting What about the laser arm thing? Yeah, I'm talking to you, haircut! Take your best shot! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. There it is. <laughs> so I guess we never found out who was causing those time anomalies Blinden was looking for. <laughs> it was you. 
Ugh, my brain hurts. Time travel is complicated, man. My hands! They're shrinking! Get... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good job, Waddles. Man. <sighs> that'll do, pig. <laughs> yes, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. A great reference. Now must clean up all of the anomalies. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was episode nine of season one of Gravity Falls. This show, man, it's... Oh man, it's so much fun. Like, time travel is fun, but at the same time, it's so confusing. Because, like, there's there's many ways to interpret it, of course. There's different variations as to how you interpret time and so on. And I don't know, man, it's just, it's, it's a complicated topic. It's one that's fun to think about, though, I think. <laughs> it's a lot of, yeah, interesting uh, thoughts that can, could be had about it. I really, really appreciate the baby, the time baby, because I would not have known about the time baby unless I had paused during the previous episode uh, when they were uncovering the mystery of the founder of Gravity Falls. There was The article there um, had mention of the time baby, that there was a, like a, a baby, a mysterious baby that was frozen in a glacier um, and... It could like consume time or something. And, but thankfully, yeah, we would be fine because it's frozen, frozen in a glacier. It's never going to get out of there. <laughs> but that was written before, like 200 years ago or something. And now there's global warming to <laughs> concern ourselves with. So the baby has escaped, of course. I love small details like that. It just, I think it adds so much when you reward people who pay extra attention, you know? This was a fun episode, though. Mabel was being her usual adorable self. Dipper was obsessing over something. And uh, Stan was scamming people. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what he does. <laughs> it feels like, in general, the theme is something outrageous is said or something outrageous happens early. That sounds like, no way, but actually way. Like in, the, in this case, where Zeus talked about like time travel or like the laser arm stuff and like it whatever is said that's what's actually gonna happen later on i was curious about when they were running through time here and there and dropping stuff what that was gonna like result in later down the line if that was gonna result in anything but apparently it was just like for the credits here where the time traveler dude was forced to go around and clean up after <laughs> Dipper and Mabel. So maybe it won't be a thing. I don't know. We're going to have to see, I guess. It will be interesting to see how much carries over from this because this show has been pretty good at being consistent. And like the main thing I'm thinking about right now is the pig. Like, are they going to get rid of that for the next episode? Or is the pig going to be like fixed like a part of the show from now on because for many other things they like either get rid of it or like or it remains like the events of the past are relevant it's not just forgotten but here it's more than just events that they can reference here it's an actual character like this pig so that's going to be interesting to see what they do with that i hope that the pig is going to still be here or if it's not like what I'm, what I think might happen is that the pig is not going to be there, but they're going to mention what happened to the pig. We'll see though, I guess. But we that's for a different day. For today, I'm done and I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, do take care of yourselves and peace out. <laughs>